Hey friends, welcome back to Law Creations. I just wanted to uh, share a quick video. I'm going to try to make it quick because I do notice in YouTube that uh, the watch time on my videos are not very long, which are, which are showing that a lot of people uh, probably prefer a, uh, a shorter video. So I'll try to do less rambling and, and get to the point. So a uh, subscriber and I were talking the other day, and he was discussing, uh, we were discussing the AK Weathering, AK Interactive Weathering Pencils. And he was bringing up some really good points about different alternatives that could be out there that could uh, be cheaper or uh, something that they already had in their, uh, in their hobby area and something they could use. So we discussed like pastel pencils, which I have here. We discussed uh, regular watercolor pencils, which I don't have any, but uh, I'll get some for uh, demonstration purposes, and I'm sure I could use them for weathering as well. Uh, you've heard me rant and rave about the interactive, AK Interactive pencils. I I, um, I absolutely love that medium. They're, they're user-friendly. They're really geared, obviously, towards weathering. And I have to, uh, these pastel pencils I didn't purchase. I've had these for years. I went on eBay. They're, this is a 36 uh, pencil set. And it, um, it runs probably a little more expensive than what you would pay for the interactive pencils. So I am not calling these a cheaper alternative. I'm just going to show you the uh, result I get with weathering with them. Um, I would never purchase these just to weather. I would try them like I'm going to do now because I already own them. So I'm not saying these are a good alternative because they are expensive. So I just wanted to show you and give you an idea of, uh, of what these pencils can do. As, uh, <clears throat> as you can see, as you've seen before, <coughs> excuse me, as you've seen before, uh, my door here, this was all done with AK Interactive Weathering Pencils, which I I probably really overdid it on this particular rust and weathering, but that's how I roll. That's what I do. And uh, so let's try the pastel pencils. Let's see what kind of effect. And I kind of already went along and I really liked how they apply, but I have to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of how it dries. It dries very unblended. Uh, imagine I could probably blend it in with a brush, but and it dries very chalky. So these are very pigmented because uh, they're an expensive brand of pastel pencils. So uh, just to show you what what brand they are, Koi. I can't even pronounce it. Koi Inor Geoconda Soft Pastel Pencil. So yeah, these are, these were a pretty expensive a set. But I just wanted to show you if you already have something in, you know, that you already own that you can use. So let's see how they apply. And like I, I like I, I applied this probably 15 minutes ago. And I have to admit, I'm not a huge fan of how it dries. Uh, the blendability probably uh, isn't the best. The blendability when I was doing uh, this side of the door with the interactive pencils... Uh, much more uh, blendable and realistic looking. Uh, I, yeah, and I don't even know I have to say this, but I'm not being, uh, I don't even know, promotional by AK Interactive or anything like that. This is just my honest opinion. Everything I've purchased, I purchased on my own, and I'm just a small little channel that, that doesn't uh, get any kind of promotional stuff. So... I just want to share with you guys uh, this particular uh, application. So let's take a look. So let's, uh, and another thing is obviously the AK Interactive Pencils are more geared towards weathering as, as you would imagine they are. These particular pastels are more geared to vibrant uh, picture drawing, uh, coloring, things like that. So... Right off the bat, I don't find a lot of pencils in here that I would use for weathering. I probably see seven or eight of them in regards to what I would use. But we're going to take a look at the ones I found. But I don't know if you can see how chalky 
that applied. So we're going to try two different ways of, of application. We're going to try, we're going to try it with, I have water here and I have some isopropanol alcohol here and we'll see which one applies uh, the best. So let's do a, uh, I had my rust color here. Let's take a look and see if we can find it. This is, this in the AK Interactive would be considered a uh, light rust. I couldn't really find anything for a medium to a dark rust in this particular uh, batch of pencils. I imagine you can use the imagination and uh, and come up with something, but I don't really see anything that really sticks out. But I'm sure there's something you could do. So let's see how the let's just see how the light rust applies with water first. So like with the interactive pencils, we're just going to dab it with water. And I'm going to get it really um, saturated. So I'm going to use the side of the pencil. So you can see the you can see the pigment already coming off, which which is nice, which is awesome. And I think the key is going to be to keep it keep it wet, so you don't end up like drawing on the. Uh, particular uh, piece you're weathering you want it to apply more like uh, paint so that's the idea there and let's see how it applies when you kind of blend it with your finger which is nice I mean it, you get a good you get good coverage you get a good color you get uh, actually applied really nice with the water Sure you guys can see that and I would say that that right there is a win in regards to uh, weathering but the, I think the key is is going to be when it really dries to see what kind of uh, texture the color leaves and if it's uh, if it's really believable so that's what it looks like there and if you turn it around it's probably a little bit of comparison there to what it looks like, but yeah, not not too bad. But I I don't like how it, it is very chalky. It is very it doesn't blend very very well, but it is it is definitely acceptable. I'm just really picky. Yeah, some people may be exact, exactly what they need. Now this down here, I didn't blend at all. I just applied the color. So that might be the problem there. Let's see. Let me wet a pencil. I mean, a, a paintbrush. And let's see if we can blend these two colors in. And let's see if we can blend it and, and not have it be too, uh, too bold in, in the lines. So... It does activate the uh, pigment again with uh, with a little bit of water. So let's see how we do. That's just to give you an idea. I'm just trying to give you different options so you don't have to go out and purchase something you may already have that is uh, very similar to to what you what uh, I recommend. Uh, I'm all about uh, saving money. I'm all about finding uh, different alternatives and when the gentleman I was talking with I believe his name is Bill I could be wrong but uh he was just you know sparking my uh my curiosity to see if if there are other uh other things out there you could use so that does blend it in pretty nicely let's see how it looks when it dries so I don't know if you can see how that looks there but it is a little a little chalky but just to give you an idea so uh, let's let's try a bright green let's try a bright green with uh, with some isopropanol let's get that wet with isopropanol and let's come down here so the isopropanol doesn't really activate the the pigment as quickly as as the water probably and 
uh, probably because it uh, evaporates uh, too quickly to really use uh, like this. But that gives you an idea of how it applies. It applies very, uh, very grainy, very, uh, and if that, I mean, that could be great for what you're looking for. That could be really good for mold or uh, mildew. And, and like I say, you can always come in, let's come in with a little isopropanol. I think this is where it'll really shine is when you wet your brush with some IPA and you come in and you come in and just blend everything. So you might need a couple more steps with pastel pencils in regards to blendability than you do with interactive, the AK interactive. But, um, I have to say it's it's uh it's doable. It's acceptable for sure. I mean, I'll continue using my interactive uh, as opposed to these. But maybe if you already have some pastel pencils, go for it. I mean, that's not bad for for more. So you hit that with a like a little black wash. You know, a light black wash and tone it down a little and that's not bad. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of, of how these pencils apply. We can try different colors. Um, you, you've you seen me with my, uh, my interactive pencils, how I like the streaking dirt color. And this particular pencil is the closest thing I could find to it. So let's get an idea of like a broad... Now this is is with the isopropanol, and I have to admit I I like the water uh, better for this application. Just a little bit that I've been playing around here, but that gives you an idea. Let's let's try the water with this particular color. Let me dry it off. And let's see how the water applies. Yeah, it, the water activates it a little bit uh, quicker. Definitely more, more uh, pigment. And that's just with one application of water. So, yeah. I, I I think these uh these pastel pencils would suffice for weathering. They might have a deeper learning curve than the interactive pencils, but uh, the only downside is the chalkiness of how it dries, and that's to be expected because these are, are probably much more pigmented than what the watering pencils are. So. I imagine it probably depends on the look you're uh, going for. But pastel pencils, these are a good alternative for weathering, depending on what you're looking for. I don't recommend going out to buy these over the interactive. By any means, I would go with the interactive. They, they stay, they're easier to blend. They're, um, they're more geared for weathering. And if you already have these and you don't have the interactive, give these a shot or give what you have a shot and, and see if you like the uh, results. But that's the results that I was able to achieve. And it is chalky. It's very pigmented. And I imagine with a little more blending, I could get it to look a little more uh, natural, maybe, but... Maybe your eye, you, you, you say that's acceptable and that doesn't look bad. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys use for weathering. Let me know uh, different mediums. Uh, I'm definitely open to suggestions. I love weathering, so uh, I'm willing to try anything. Uh, I've tried pastels before, the sticks, and just scrape it down and apply it wet and that works really nice. I tried pastels as a weathering powder. Now I've tried these pencils for the first time. These would not be my first option, but they're a good, good backup, a good alternative uh, with a little bit more of a learning curve, I think. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and uh, 
and throw it out there to, to, to think. And that's why I gave the guy, uh, the gentleman I was talking to, uh, credit for thinking outside the box. For uh, for just the hobby itself, for weathering, for, for creating, for anything. Think outside the box. Think of cheaper alternatives. Uh, and and give them a try. And, and trial and error and practice. And, and uh, yeah, so these wouldn't be my first choice, but... It doesn't, uh, it doesn't disappoint by any means, but that's just to give you an idea of what it looks like as compared to this. This just went straight on with a pencil and I would, and I would go, go and, uh, blend it with my finger. But you, you see me using it and I used a little bit of a paintbrush too for, for streaking and and I'm so much happier with this blendability and colors as opposed to uh this particular that that's that's very uh vibrant and bright so okay guys enough rambling uh thank you so much for watching please like please subscribe let's uh grow a great community and uh I appreciate all you folks take care have a good night